From historic mansions whose halls are roamed by the ghosts of their former owners, to music academies harboring the restless spirits of past performers taken too soon, are you sure you're ready to brave my picks for some of the most haunted places in Philadelphia? Number 5. The Bishop White House the Bishop White House, also known as the historic Bishop White House, is a prominent mansion located in the Society Hill neighborhood of Philadelphia. Built in 1787, it's one of the finest examples of Georgian architecture in the city and served as the residence of Bishop William White, a notable figure in the early Episcopal Church in the United States and the first presiding bishop of said parish. Historically, Bishop White played a significant role in shaping the religious landscape of Philadelphia and the nation as a whole, and was actively involved in the American Revolution, serving as a chaplain to the Continental Congress while offering prayers at the inauguration of President George Washington. Today, the Bishop White House is a museum standing as testament to Philadelphia's architectural and cultural heritage. Chillingly, this aged abode has gained a reputation for its range of supernatural phenomena, with various reports of ghostly encounters and paranormal activity within its walls being all but common. One frequently reported ghostly presence in the Bishop White House is believed to be that of Bishop William White himself. Incidentally, visitors and staff members have described encountering a distinguished-looking gentleman in period clothing, likely white, often in the library or near the staircase. Additionally, visitors have also reported hearing unexplained footsteps or the sounds of doors opening and closing when no one else is present, and some have felt sudden drops in temperature or experienced feelings of being watched. While the cause behind alleged hauntings in the Bishop White House remain uncertain, some speculate that the residual energy of Bishop White's influential life and his deep connection to the house have left an imprint, while others believe that the spirits of past residents or individuals associated with the house may linger, contributing to reported paranormal activity. Number 4. The Academy of Music the Academy of Music, located off South Broad Street in Philadelphia, is a historic concert hall that opened its doors on January 26th of 1857. It was designed by renowned architect Napoleon Lebrun in the Second Empire architectural style, with influences from the Italian Renaissance. Notably, this academy was constructed to provide a grand venue for opera performances and other cultural events. Since its inauguration, the Academy of Music has hosted numerous world-class performances by renowned artists, including operas, ballets, symphonies, and Broadway shows, and has played a vital role in Philadelphia's cultural landscape, standing as one of the oldest opera houses in the whole of the United States. While the Academy is primarily recognized for its cultural significance, there have been occasional reports of paranormal activity within the building, with witnesses and staff members claiming to have experienced ghostly encounters adding an air of mystique to the historic venue. One commonly reported apparition is that of a female ghost, often described as a woman in a white gown or period attire, that's believed to be a former opera singer or actress who performed at the Academy and met a tragic fate. Witnesses claim to observe her form wandering the halls or sitting in empty seats, sometimes accompanied by a ghostly male figure. Other paranormal occurrences on site include unexplained footsteps echoing through empty corridors, disembodied voices or whispers, and objects sighted moving on their own. And some have told of sudden drops in temperature, of the feelings of being watched, and of a sense of unease in certain areas of the structure. While the origins of these alleged hauntings remain unknown, some speculate that the spirits of performers or theater enthusiasts who were deeply connected to the Academy may linger within its walls, while others suggest that the emotional energy generated by the intense performances held at the venue throughout its history may contribute to reported paranormal phenomena. Number 3. Washington Square Washington Square, located in the Society Hill neighborhood of Philadelphia, has a rich history dating back to the city's earliest development. Initially recognized as Southeast Square, it was one of the original five public spaces planned by William Penn in the late 17th century, and served multiple purposes over its years, including as a potter's field and burial ground for victims of the yellow fever outbreaks in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. During the American Revolutionary War, Washington Square played a significant role as a military training grounds and as the site of the original Tomb of the Unknown Revolutionary War Soldier, which honors those unidentified soldiers who fought for American independence. 
Today, Washington Square is a tranquil park featuring beautiful landscaping, statues, and a memorial dedicated to the soldiers and sailors of the Revolutionary Era. Not really all that surprisingly, Washington Square is often regarded as one of the most haunted locations in Philadelphia, with the park's rather dark history as a burial ground and its association with the Revolutionary War contributing to its reputation for paranormal activity. Visitors to the square have reported a variety of ghostly encounters and eerie experiences, including run-ins with shadowy figures moving through the park, and also with translucent manifestations dressed in period clothing, including soldiers and other individuals connected to the city's history. Disembodied voices and whispers have also been described, often heard in quiet corners of the square, and some have claimed to hear the faint sounds of marching or a battle cries evoking the spirits of the soldiers who fought through the revolution. Cold spots or sudden drops in temperature have been experienced by some, even on warm days, creating an eerie atmosphere, while others have described the feelings of being watched or a sense of unease in certain areas. The Tomb of the Unknown Revolutionary War Soldier, located within Washington Square, is believed to be a focal point for paranormal activity, and there, witnesses have reported sighting apparitions near the tomb, as well as experiencing unexplained phenomena such as the sensations of being touched or hearing footsteps around the memorial. Number 2. The Cliveden of the National Trust Cliveden, located in the Germantown neighborhood of Philadelphia, is a historic mansion that was built in 1763 that was originally the summer home of Benjamin Chu, a prominent lawyer and chief justice of the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania. Notably, this prestigious residence is a prime example of Georgian architecture and is renowned for its elegant design and beautiful gardens. Historically, Cliveden played a significant role in American history, particularly through the Battle of Germantown through the American Revolution, when it served as a strategic location for both British and American forces, witnessing fierce fighting and significant casualties. Today, Cliveden is managed by the National Trust for Historic Preservation and serves as a museum while offering visitors a glimpse into its rich history. Chillingly, Cliveden of the National Trust is well known for its alleged paranormal activity and boasts an impressive reputation for being haunted, with visitors and staff members reporting a range of ghostly encounters and unexplained phenomena within the mansion and across its grounds. One of the most well-known ghost stories associated with Cliveden involves the Battle of Germantown apparitions. According to said legends, on foggy October mornings, witnesses have reported sighting ghostly figures in Revolutionary War attire, reenacting the battle. These soldiers are usually described as marching across the lawn, alongside the sound of musket fire and cries of agony. In addition to the battlefield apparitions, other paranormal occurrences have been reported at Cliveden as well, with witnesses describing hearing disembodied voices, footsteps echoing through empty rooms, and doors opening and closing on their own, and others telling of experiencing sudden drops in temperature, the feelings of being touched or brushed up against by unseen entities, or a general sense of unease. The alleged hauntings at Cliveden are often attributed to the residual energy left behind by the traumatic events of the Battle of Germantown, as well as its emotional intensity and historical significance of the site. Number 1. Elfrith's Alley Elfrith's Alley, located in the Old City neighborhood of Philadelphia, is a historic street known for its well-preserved colonial-era homes that dates back to the early 18th century and that's often regarded as the oldest continuously inhabited residential street in the United States. Notably, this alley was named after Jeremiah Elfrith, an 18th century blacksmith and property owner. Through the 18th and 19th centuries, Elfrith's Alley was home to a diverse community of artisans, craftsmen, and merchants, and houses along it reflect various architectural styles, including Georgian and Federal, providing a glimpse into Philadelphia's colonial past. Elfrith's Alley, with its long history and association with colonial life, totes its fair share of reported ghostly encounters and hauntings, with both visitors and residents describing unexplained phenomena and eerie experiences that have contributed to its reputation as a supernaturally charged locale. One of the most well-known ghost stories associated with Elfrith's Alley involves the spirit of a woman known as Mrs. Elfrith, who it's believed is the ghost of a former resident who tragically lost her life during childbirth. Witnesses claim to have spied her apparition or felt her presence in various houses along the alley, often accompanied by the scent of roses or lavender. 
In addition to Mrs. Alfred, there have also been documentations of other ghostly manifestations along the alley, such as shadowy manifestations or entities in period clothing seemingly going about their daily routines, and also of disembodied voices, whispers, or footsteps echoing through the narrow cobblestone streets. Cold spots and temperature fluctuations have been reported, along with unexplained knocking sounds and the sensation of being touched or brushed up against by something unseen. And other visitors have captured strange orbs or anomalies in photographs taken along the alley, further fueling spooky speculations. To date, Elfrith's Alley continues to attract tourists who are drawn in by its architectural charm, historical significance, and the possibility of encountering a glimpse of the past, whether through tangible history or ethereal encounters with the supernatural, which is exactly why I felt it was the perfect choice as the most haunted place in Philadelphia. Thanks for joining me for my picks for some of the most haunted places in Philadelphia. If you enjoyed listening to my histories and ghost stories, subscribe to my channel, like this upload, and share me with anyone you feel could use a good scare. I'll catch you next time.